Mayor Paul Soglin had rather strong words for panhandlers today. He is advocating a new ordinance to deal with what he calls a significant problem in the city. News 3's Chris Gothner joins us with more. Good evening, Chris. Hi, Charlotte. Well, Madison's previous panhandling ordinance was struck down by a federal court in January. Now, Madison Mayor Paul Soglin has another idea to curb panhandling, saying that a new, broader ordinance would pass federal muster. It's a common sight at many major Madison intersections. Folks who say they're homeless holding signs and asking for money. Mayor Paul Soglin says otherwise. There is no evidence that these dozens and dozens of people who've arrived to do this in the last three months are homeless. The mayor wants an ordinance to ban anyone from standing out in the median and approaching cars for any reason after Madison's previous panhandling ordinance was struck down for specifically targeting panhandlers. Don't play in the streets. Everybody's parents tell them that. Tammy Peters, who was out on University in Midvale today asking for money, claims she and others are mostly legitimate. Most people I would say that are out here are truly in need. So all you're just basically doing is moving the homeless somewhere else. If you push them off the median, they're going to go somewhere else. You need to address the real issue at hand, have more resources available, period. But Steve Schooler, who runs Porchlight, a homeless services organization in Madison, says that's not necessarily the case. He says a lot of the panhandlers aren't homeless and not in need and says organizations like his advise against giving them money. What I would do is take the money that you were going to give to a panhandler and give it to a charitable nonprofit. Soglin says he hopes the Common Council will take up the proposal soon. Soglin says the proposed ordinance was sent to committee and he's not sure if the council will take it up. He said to those claiming the proposal unfairly targets the homeless that it's a matter of safety, including for those out in the median. Now, Steve Schooler, who runs Porchlight, he told me the reason his group advocates not giving panhandlers money is you can never be sure where it's going. He says when you donate to an organization like Porchlight, you can. All right, some good advice. Thank you very much, Chris.